Alright, so now we are going to draw Lewis structure. So in order to draw the correct Lewis structure, there are a few steps that you need to follow. The first one is you need to calculate the total number of valence electrons. So remember to add one for each negative charge and subtract one for each positive charge. Okay, step two is to draw skeletal structure. Okay, in order to draw the skeletal structure, we must determine which one is going to be the central atom. The central atom usually is the least electronegative element, while the terminal atom usually is the more electronegative element. Okay, the step three is to complete an octet for all terminal atoms except hydrogen. That means that we have to make sure that the terminal atoms have 8 electrons except hydrogen because hydrogens can only have 2 electrons. Alright, step 4. Place any remaining electrons on the central atom. And last step, if the central atom does not have an octet, we have to form double or triple bonds by using the lone pairs of electrons from the terminal atoms. Okay, so let's look at the example. NF3 molecule. In order to draw the Lewis structure of NF3 molecule, remember the step 1, calculate the total number of valence electron. So it is very important for you to remember the valence electron of atom. Nitrogen has 5 valence electron. Fluorine has 7 valence electron. But since fluorine has 3 atoms here in this molecule, so we need to times 7 valence electrons with 3. So it gives 21 electrons in total for fluorine. So 5 plus 21, there are 26 electrons in total. Okay, so this is the first step. We need to calculate the total number of valence electrons. Since this is a neutral molecule, so we do not have to add or subtract electron. Okay, step 2, we need to draw the skeletal structure. And in order to draw the skeletal structure, we must determine which atom is going to be the center atom. Okay, remember the center atom is usually the least electronegative atom. Okay, so in this molecule, we have nitrogen and fluorine. Fluorine is more electronegative than nitrogen. So nitrogen should be the center atom. Fluorine has three atoms in this molecule. So if the atoms is more than one in any molecule, usually it's always going to be the terminal atom. So in order to draw the Lewis structure, we know that now that the nitrogen is the center atom and fluorine is the terminal atom. Let's look at the next step 3. There are bonds between nitrogen and fluorine. So in each bond, remember there are two electrons. So, since there are three bonds, means that there are six electrons involved in the bond. So, 26 minus with six electrons that's already involved in the bond. So, there are 20 electrons left. So, what we are going to do with these 20 electrons? Okay. We are going to make sure that the terminal atoms have eight electrons. So, we need six Electron in each F atom to make sure that F has 8 electrons in total. So since there are 3 fluorine and we need 6 electrons for each fluorine, so 6 times 3, there are 18 electrons just in the terminal atom. So 20 electrons minus 18 electrons, so there are 2 electrons left. So what we are going to do with these 2 electrons? Let's look at the next step 4. In step 4, we are going to put that 2 electron on nitrogens, okay, on the center atom. So this is the correct Lewis structure. Alright, so let's look at another example. 
So here is CO3 2 minus molecule. Okay. Alright, so let's start with the total number of valence electron. Carbon has 4 valence electrons. Oxygen has 6 valence electron. Since there are 3 oxygen in this molecule, so means that there are 18 electrons in total. Since this is negative 2, so we add 2 electrons. So in total, there are 24 electrons for this molecule. Alright, so next we draw the skeletal structure. Okay. So the central atom in this case is the carbon. And the terminal atom is oxygen. So we draw the bond between the carbon and oxygen. So initially there are three bonds that used for the bonding. And each bond, remember there are two electrons. So in total there are six electrons in the bonding. So 24 minus 6, there are 18 electrons. And these 18 electrons is gonna use to put on the oxygen. So there are no electrons left. Since carbon does not have enough electrons, we have to make sure that carbon has 8 electrons, alright? So what happens here, carbon has only 6 electrons. So how are we going to make sure that carbon has 8 electrons? Okay, remember the step 5? If the carbon has 6 electrons, means that it does not achieve an octet state. So we are going to use lone pair from any terminal atoms to form bond between carbon and oxygen. And it will give you carbon double bond O. Okay, in this case, carbon has 8 electrons. So this is the correct Lewis structure. Let's look at NH4+. Okay, nitrogen has 5 electrons. Hydrogen has 1 electrons. But in this molecule, there are 4 hydrogen atoms. So that means there are 4 electrons. And this molecule is positive 1. So if it's positive, we subtract electron. Okay, o according to the charge. Since it's positive 1, so we minus 1. So the total electron is 8. Alright. So in this case, nitrogen is the center atom. Okay. Even though nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogens, hydrogens will never be a center atom. Okay, since it has only two electrons, so hydrogens is always be a terminal atom. Okay, so we draw the skeletal structure of NH4. So in total, there are 8 electrons used for the bonding. Okay, don't forget to put the charge positive 1 of the molecule. This is the Lewis structure. Okay, the next one is SF4. Okay. Valence electron for sulfur is 6 electron. Fluorine has 7 electrons since there are 4 Fluorine atoms, so we times with 4, 7 times 4, give you 28 electrons, so in total is 34 electrons. So this is a neutral molecule, so we don't have to add or subtract electron. Alright, so in this case, sulfur is going to be the center atom and F is going to be the terminal atoms. Okay, so in this molecule, we use 8 electrons for the bonding. So 34 minus 8, there are 26 electrons left. Okay, and then we have to make sure that fluorine has 8 electrons. So we need 6 electrons for each atom. So in total, there are 24 electrons for the terminal and there are 2 electrons left. What we're going to do with these 2 electrons? We put that on the central atom.
Okay, so this is the Lewis structure of SF4 molecule. Alright, next, IF2 minus. Okay, so again, step one, we start with the total valence electrons. Iodine has seven valence electrons. Fluorine has seven valence electron times two. So it gives you 14 electrons. And since this is a negative one, so we add one electron. So in total, there are 22 electrons. Right, so iodine is the central atom and fluorine is the terminal atoms. Okay, so in this structure, we use four electrons for the bonding. And then we use 12 electrons for the terminal. So there are six electrons left. Okay. So the remaining electrons, we put that on the central atom. Right. So this is the structure of the Lewis structure of IF2 molecule. Okay. So don't forget to put the charge negative one of the molecule. 